Hello and welcome to your 17th C++ lesson and this is going to be a really short lesson and basically it's just bringing together all the stuff we've learned in the previous lessons so it's a really simple game and it's messy and it uses way too much code it could be a lot shorter it, mine uses 589 lines and yeah it's messy and it's really not great it uses system commands and all that but what it does do is it helps you bring everything together and also, it just shows you how you can use some of the stuff you learn in kind of a real type of situation, like if you wanted to make a game. Now, it's really simple. I'm just going to show you how it works. So, you can download this from my site. Uh, there'll be the link in the video description where you can actually, you can see the code on the page, which you can just copy, and then obviously read through. And also, you can download it from there. So, I'm just going to debug this. Okay, you look at a fast food chain called Muck Kentucky King. You have to read the customer's orders and see what they want, and then process their orders as fast as you can. Now, you have to remember this key. So, one is burger, two is chips, three is a chicken wrap, and four is a chicken burger. So, yeah, you're going to need to remember it to process the orders. So, one burger, two chips, three is chicken wrap, four is chicken burger. Now, I'm not too good at this, but I'm going to give it a shot. Right, so, burger, chips... Two chicken wraps, burger and chips, two chicken burgers, chips and chicken wrap, chicken burger, chips and chicken wrap, burgers and chips, uh, two chicken burgers, a burger and some chips, chicken burger, chips and chicken wrap, burger, burger and some chips. You'll see in a minute, it gets a bit more difficult. Here we go. Uh, well done, you've passed the beginner level. Now it gets a bit more difficult. Uh, you actually have less and less time uh, every time. So it's quite cool. It uses a uh, special include for this. It uses the C time include. Okay, so let's try this. It starts getting a little bit harder now. I'm not very good at this bit. Alright. Burger chips. Chips chicken. Burger... Burger, burger, regular burger, chicken wrap, two chicken wraps, chips, chicken burger, two chicken wraps, burger, chips. I'm too good at this. I, I thought I was terrible before, but it turns out I'm not too bad. Okay, I'm going to purposely lose now. There we go. So, you raise the customer's order incorrectly. You finish with a score of 39. I don't think that's too bad. Um... And obviously, then you can try again. I haven't actually built in a try again mechanism, so if you say what, if you say yes, then it's actually just going to say, "Well, too bad, I haven't built it in yet." But I mean, that's all. Um, I have said this note has to stay at the top. I mean, it's not that official and needs to stay there. But you know, at the time of making this, it took quite a while because it's only using these kind of basic things that we've already learned. Mainly, it's just kind of classes and if statements and uh, and that type of thing. Lots of functions that do different things, and you'll figure it out. Basically, it's quite simple. You read through it, it's stuff we've already done, and it just brings everything together that we've already done quite nicely. So, that is the end of this very short lesson. Uh, read through everything, understand it, and then, hey, you can make your own game that only uses this stuff. And if you do, post it as a response to this video, and we can have a look at what you've made, and we can all comment on it, say how you can improve it, and uh, all that, so have fun with it and have a nice day.